I was recently talking to a group of women and we were talking about the standards that society often places on uh, women and particularly on moms and some of the 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 quotes that are so meaningful in some ways and yet kind of scary um, in other ways in terms of a mother's influence on her children and I think this can actually also be true of passages of scripture and one that probably comes to mind is from Proverbs 31 where in my Bible the heading is a description of a worthy woman and it reads like this an excellent wife who can find for her worth is far above jewels the heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain she does him good and not evil all the days of her life she looks for wool and flax and works with her hands in delight she is like merchant ships she brings her food from afar she rises also while it is still night and gives food to her household and portions to her maidens she considers a field and buys it from her earnings she plants a vineyard she girds herself with strength and makes her arms strong she senses that her gain is good her lamp does not go out at night she stretches out her hands to the distaff and her hands grasp the spindle she extends her hands to the poor and she stretches out her hands to the needy she is not afraid of the snow for her household for all her household are clothed with scarlet she makes coverings for herself her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies belts to the tradesmen. Strength and dignity are her clothing and she smiles at the future. She opens her mouth in wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household, household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and bless her, her husband also, and he praises her saying, Many daughters have done nobly, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the product of her hands and let her works praise her in the gate. And I think sometimes we've mistakenly used this passage as kind of a checklist. And we go through it and think, okay, she looks for wool and flax and works with her hands in, de in delight. Ah. I don't know what wool and flax are, and I've certainly never worked with them, so I can't check off that box. She is like merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. Hmm, we think, maybe, does McDonald's count? I could check that box if it does, and if it doesn't, then I can't. She rises also while it's still night and gives food to her household. Well, I left Fruit Loops on the table before I went to bed. Can that count as, bringing, as providing for that morning meal? And sometimes when we go through that, it, it can be very um, overwhelming. It can be very disheartening to think, I don't measure up when it comes to all of these things that a worthy woman does. But I think we make a mistake when we look at this, these verses as a checklist that we are to complete or as a, a, a standard by which we are to measure ourselves rather than as a description of what the heart should be. And I think what this passage is really talking about is perspective. This worthy woman serves others and she lives with optimism. She has hope for the future. Her words are wise. She looks for ways that she can help. Her intent is to provide for her for the needs of her family and for the needs of others. And then her motive is that she has a relationship with God and she trusts that he is good, that he's in control, and that her ultimate reward will come from him rather than from the people around her. So I would encourage you today, especially uh, moms and dads who might be feeling like the role that we are called to play is often too much. Uh, remember that God doesn't call us to shoulder that burden alone. And yes, there are guidelines in scripture, but it is more about our heart than a particular set of, of principles that we follow or a particular set of check 
boxes that we check off. I would encourage you today to think about what is my relationship with God like? Is that a way that I demonstrate my faith to my family? Perhaps that's more important than waking up early and providing a meal, is waking up early and spending time with the Lord so that you are filled, so that you can give out. The Bible has a lot of things in it that if we just feel like I have to I have to grit my teeth and I have to do all these things, it can be very discouraging, but that's not God's intent. God's intent is for us to have models to follow. God's intent is for us to do that in the strength of his spirit. So I would encourage you to walk in the strength of the spirit today.